Hello everybody and welcome back to Sim Airport. Now you may see that we actually have bank balance. Yeah, um, I've actually spent a couple of hours um, since the last recording trying to sort out this airport and um, I actually went back to an earlier save before we ran out of money completely and the problem was that we didn't have um, toilets. And because there was no toilets, the planes weren't landing. The toilets aren't finished because we didn't have enough money to put in toilets and sinks. But um, now that I have some money, maybe I can do something like that. So um, we'll put in uh, T-O-I, toilet. There we go. Um, put one like that. One like that. Um, if we put in a sink, S, I, there we go, we'll get a sink down, and a sink down. So that should um, get the bathrooms at least to be um, adequate. We've got some staff here so people can catch their flights. Um, one problem I was having was that the flights weren't actually taking off. I'm having to manually break the deadlock every time. Um, once I noticed that, then money started rolling in um, when the planes land, obviously. So, um, yeah, we'll keep an eye. Once the plane lands, we'll probably slow down the speed and uh, make sure that people um, all go in. So, we'll unload. They're not happy because we've not got um, luggage stuff for departures, pickups. I don't know if we have the money for that. Baggage carousel's 5,000. No, we don't have the money for that at the moment. So people coming off of planes are going to be arg because they're not going to have their, their, um, their luggage. So that is... A bit of, and I'm typing W, so we'll get rid of that. Um, let's close the object so we can go around a bit. So they're all loading in. How many do we have? We have 51 of 72 boarded, so once everyone's boarded we can break the deadlock. Uh, the next plane is due in 6.30, so as long as we take off by 6.30 should be okay. Uh, so for all the noise in the background, um, I'll probably pause this if he makes much more sound. Um, we'll have to see. I'm actually going to speed this up again slightly. And um, hopefully 71 of 72 boarded. 72 of 72 boarded so we can break the deadlock. And plane can go. Actually early, so there we go. And he's really making a lot of noise. Uh, hang on one second. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, yeah. Thing is, I really don't have much time anymore to do um, a lot of recording. So uh, when I do do recording, it's maybe not always the best possible time. I'm actually going to do a door down here for the pickups, but. I want more money. Um, maybe we could put uh, vending. That's three five. That's three five. No, we can't put any vending. Just trying to think of a few things that could make us some money um, quickly. So uh, we'll speed up that until the next plane comes. That should uh, give us some money. Obviously we're going to have staff wages and whatnot in the meantime. We need to put a queue back here, because I didn't have a queue. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slow it down again so we can do a queue. Um, something like that. That'll be for the security. And... Wherever it may be is... We have to close that off and select that. Yes, assign to queue, assign, and close. 
everyone can get in the queue. They should be more efficient going through like that as well. Uh, that queue is assigned, but everyone just seems to be hanging around um, before the plane lands. Speed up time, then they'll start getting in their queue. So maybe it's a good idea to put a vending machine down in this area. Um, I guess we'll start off with a food vending machine. That should possibly give us some money. Um, constant flow of money, at least while we have people in the airport. Till we can afford the baggage carousel. I mean, we almost could, but um, yeah. People are loading in, that's, that's pretty good. Um, it's a big plane, this one, but there's only 82 that need to go in it. Um, 74 of 82, we'll go double speed, so keep an eye on. When does it need to leave the... That's... Okay, that one actually didn't come. Okay, so we've got this one. Um, does it say why? doesn't say why. So this one leaves at 9, with the next one coming at 10. So I think we've got... Yeah. We'll break the deadlock, get that one out. And... Uh, Maybe some people will be buying, yes, they're buying some stuff from the vending machine. Don't know if we'll see money going up. Um, maybe it'll be at the end of the hour. So now we can speed up time again, until they do that. Um, yeah, but people are buying from it, so... Um, okay, they actually paid us. Uh, vending machine income, 40. Right, it's not going to like change the world, but yeah, it help. It will help in the long run, especially as we get more people in and more people um, buying stuff. I mean, they're actually queuing up to use that, so they're all not happy. Four thousand one hundred. Soon we'll get the the carousel. Don't worry. Next couple of uh, flights. Now, how many people is in this one? Uh, One hundred and fifty-four. So this one's going to take a while to load. Um, Hopefully everyone is pretty much in the queue. A few are on route. I'm gonna slow it down. So one one eight. Uh, you need to leave at twelve. All right. We'll speed up time. When's the next one coming? Next one comes in twelve thirty. So we can leave a little bit late. We can't leave too late. He's taking the bags. Um, we're at 11.54, how are we? 147, we're almost there. People are getting in. 153, count one more person. It's one more person. Who are you? Okay, everyone's boarded, break the deadlock. Just leaving a little bit late. No, it's on pause. That's why I didn't break the deadlock. Okay, so we're not doing too bad at loading everything in. Now, we do need a janitor because things are going to start getting quite messy quite quickly. Um, so, put the speed up till the next plane lands. Which is a tiny little plane. So, with like three people. So, we didn't get much money from that one. Um, line nine boarded, break the deadlock. So how are we? That one's en route to land at three. It's another small one. Then we have one big one at the end. Um, now how's our schedule? Do we have any free slots with anyone cancelling? No, we don't have any free slots. Okay, so we'll just keep that going. I mean, these small planes don't really help. The, uh, the airport, um, but I mean their sign up fee gave me some cash to help me get security guards and whatnot at the start, so uh, that did help. Um, and they don't really hurt the infrastructure, but it's in um, nine people isn't really gonna cause any problems with staff and whatnot. Um, 
Yeah, but so far we seem to be handling this one gate quite easily. So what we'll have to do is, as I was saying in the last episode, we'll have to plan a way to um, can actually get the carousel uh, like that. So then the next flight should have the um, the things it needs. Then we're going to always add a few more down there, and then the door, and people can just go straight out for the pickups. Then we'll have to find a way to get people to go around to come here rather than um, going straight um, through that way so we'll have to work on that as well um. so we'll let them load in have you got 8 of 8 break that deadlock and that one's en route speed up again so now it's a biggish plane so lots of people are coming but ticketing is handling it. I mean we haven't really had any full full flights um, baggage claim zone there we go baggage claim zone so we were going fast we're going slower well, they should all be happy now because they should be able to get their baggage. There we go. They're coming down waiting for their baggage. And he's just dumping them on the floor. So maybe we could have done that, just had the zone, um, not the carousel. But it's okay. We live, we learn. We've got two grand. And oh, it did the dead, deadlock automatically. So that's the end of the day. Um, can we afford a janitor? It's only 200 quid, so we'll get a janitor to start cleaning things up. So probably something we'll need to improve is um, ticketing. We'll need another gate at some point, but that means extending. Right now we can't really afford that. Um, but we could help with ticketing. We could... Um, improve this maybe with a second desk um, or another queue or something but um, we'll have to see because there's not much room in the current setup to do that we would probably have to have something a bit wider or something like that but as we are right now we're seeming to cope bit by bit I mean we'll need to improve these bathrooms maybe put another bathroom down here but I think what we can do is we can start um, planning out how to get our um, baggage out here um, automatically so if we were to go on to that was not me that was the dog um, if you heard that where is it utility there we go babbage babbage so that's 2000 uh, plus four hourly so it costs us money and that's 300 per meter so we're gonna need to put one here now red is leaving and blue is in so gonna have to see where exactly this is gonna go all right now we don't have enough money I'm thinking something like that over here hopefully a plane will land and it will give us the ability to uh, to put this down I'm actually gonna swing this around the okay plane has landed so we can no we don't have the money I'm actually gonna swing this around I'm gonna go something like up and then out so that if we put more desks we can just connect to it and we don't have to start removing the, um, the thing if you've seen the last series we had a bit of a problem with that um, go off of build are you full 73 of 74 I think that's the last person are you going on 74 74 are you gonna put the luggage in 
waiting on baggage loading. That might be why the deadlocks weren't breaking. Okay. The, yeah. It's the baggage. So yeah, baggage is our thing um, that we have to do. So we can either plan the, the things, but I think we need the thing in, in place So before we plan the things. So we'll go back to utilities. And it will have to go around that way. It costs 2.5. So with the next plane we should get it. There we go. Yeah, we can. Okay. So, conveyor line. If we do it going up like that. Alright, already not enough money. But our workman can start building. That's alright. We're going to be hearing all the drilling and hammering and whatnot. That should uh, get everything working quite, quite, quite well. And it's leaving on time. Um, yeah, they seem to be doing their thing properly now, so I don't have to babysit it. It's probably that that luggage. Maybe I didn't have enough staff or something. Um, we're getting money from the vending machine. We're getting that in as well. So uh, get some conveyor line like so and then up can bring it that far they can work on that they're gonna get run over by a plane or something at some point but uh, okay is everyone on uh, we're gonna slow things down you are at 12.30 oh it's gonna be close Come on. We don't want to not have a gate for the other plane. Two, three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Okay, he's leaving. Alright, brilliant. With less people on route. Or well, not on route, um, on board. But at least we won't have a conflict on the gate. And it's only that tiny little plane we get to done. Eventually we'll get all that built. Um, but I think this is probably a good place to actually leave off this episode. And um, yeah, I'll say thanks for watching. Um, I've been Stranky. I'm going to try and get things a bit more regularly. I don't know if I'm going to manage at the time being. But um, yeah, I'm going to try and get things back to maybe not where we were with two videos every day but um, as close as I can and uh, we'll see what we can do so anyway thanks a lot and I'll see you all next time bye bye <laughs>